guess you thought that after we were done, my world would fall apart. Crumple to little pieces like, like, you know, like when an earthquake hits and the ground breaks and buildings, they separate, then come tumbling down. Yeah, like that. But somebody done told you wrong. See, I just want to set the record straight so you can tell the story the way it's supposed to be told. Not with your own twists and turns, embellishments and enhancements, trying to puff yourself up and deflate me in the process. The real story goes like this. I knew I was in too deep real early on and was going to have to back that thing up and out the door. Right around the time you started treating me like some old hand-me-down trinket. Or better yet, like that old dusty pair of shoes. You know. The ones way in the back of your closet. The ones you only pay attention to every blue moon because you got 50, 11 other pairs of shoes that are so much more important. Yeah, like that. And I guess you thought just because I loved you and I really did want us to work that I was going to let you keep shoving me in the back of the closet, allowing dust to collect on all my good love while day after day you chose other shoes over me. But somebody done told you wrong. Because while you traipsed around town with your feet in all those other shoes that didn't even fit you right, that gave me time to breathe, to air out, so to speak. You know, like neglected shoes have time to do when they've been cast aside. And I started making plans to <clears throat> get to step in to another closet where I would no longer be the old, forgotten, and mistreated shoes, but instead I'd be the all-purpose shoes. You know the all-purpose shoes. The ones you love so much that no matter how many other pairs you have, you just can't seem to keep your feet out of them. Yeah, like that. And I guess you might have got beside yourself, started thinking you were cute and thought that no other feet could replace yours. But somebody done told you wrong. Because what had happened was, one day while you were out wearing down the soles on one of those other unfortunate pairs of shoes, I got up, blew the cobwebs off me, laced myself up nice and tight, and eased on down the yellow brick road. And what I found when I got to the end was more love, respect, admiration, honesty, and special treatment than I ever knew existed. And you know what the best part was? There were no other shoes there but me. So I know once you realized I was long gone and what you had lost, you kicked yourself real hard. And then, not understanding that whole concept of appreciating and nurturing the exceptional relationship you have, because you rarely find true love more than once in a lifetime, you thought you could just run out right quick and find all that you had in me at the drop of a hat. But somebody done told you wrong. Because when you got out there in that vast sea of shoes, oops, surprise, surprise, you couldn't find the right size. There were none out there that fit you as perfectly as I did. And there you stood, barefoot and out of luck. While I was off with my new boo getting shined and polished and buffed on a regular basis and loving every step those new feet and I took together. Yeah, like that. I know you thought that in time you'd be okay without me because you had all those other shoes lined up waiting to be the new me. But guess what? Somebody done told you wrong. You've been, been misinformed.